Hi, so welcome to this Intermediate Advanced Flow. My name is Leanna Joan. You might want to have a couple props handy. They aren't necessarily necessary for this class. Um, you could, if you have blocks, you grab a couple blocks or some books. If you have a towel or blanket handy, you can grab one of those. Um, I say this is intermediate advanced because I am going to be throwing some inversion options for those of you who practice inversions. If you don't, you'll just skip those options. I won't be showing every inversion because I'm dealing with a little bit of an injury right now, but I will cue you through them if you'd like to take that option. So we're going to start on our backs when you're ready. All right, so come on back. If you feel comfortable, you can have the legs extended. If you have low back pain, you can bend your knees and set your feet flat. Arms can be wherever you'd like. Just as we take a moment to prepare our bodies for our practice today. As we come to our mats, without judgment and without expectation, and instead just coming as we are with what we have to offer. Really noticing that natural movement of the breath. Over the next couple breaths, just beginning to bring in the ujjayi breath. And so taking that breath in and out of the nose as we create that small contraction in the back of the throat, as we feel the breath move from our belly to our ribs to our chest and all the way back down again. Sometimes it's helpful to just place your hands on your belly to really feel, actually feel the movement of the breath. And take two more breaths as you are. Your next breath, I'm going to have you hold the breath at the top and then sigh out the mouth. And try that again. Deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. And then return back to the Ujjayi breath as you start to pull the knees into the chest, giving them a nice squeeze and a little rock from side to side. And maybe just let the head fall side to side as well to loosen up the neck. And then we'll just start with a gentle, quick twist, just bringing the knees off to the right, taking a couple breaths into the left side body. center and switching sides. Now taking the breath into the right side body. And then come back to center. Take a quick happy baby. You can grab the outer edges of the shins or the sides of the feet. Noticing what those inner thighs feel like. And then again, maybe just rocking the head side to side. And then pull those knees back in. All right, we're going to get right into our abdominals here. So extend those legs up. If the hamstrings are tight, just keep a soft bend in the knee. What I'm going to have you do is reach your arms behind you and pretend like you have a block in between your hands. So the arms are active, our palms are facing in. 
On the inhale, you're gonna squeeze the belly nice and tight as you drop your right foot about 45 degrees or as low as feels comfortable, as, as low as you can support the belly. Keep the legs as is, take an inhale. On your exhale, lift up, reach the arms forward. Inhale, reach it back. Now, if you need support for the neck here, just do all of this with the hands supporting the back of the head. Exhale, inhale. The exhale is the crunch. Inhale is the back. Exhale. For three, two, one, you're gonna hold here. Hands behind the head or reaching the hands forward. We're gonna drop our left leg to meet the right. Inhale, just lift the left leg. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We got four more, you guys. Inhale, exhale, three, two, last one. You're gonna hold here, reaching the feet, reaching the hands for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring the feet up, and then pull the knees in. Good, rest. And if you're doing the math, we've got another side. All right, so when you're ready, reach those legs up. Reach the arms behind you. Pretend like you're squeezing that block. We're gonna drop the left leg as low as it makes sense. You can always have the knees bent on this as well. Take it in and hump. On your exhale, reach the hands forward. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, reach the hands forward. You can always support the neck. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. For three. Two. One. Stay here. Reach the hands forward. Lower your right leg to your left. Lift just the right leg back up. Use your exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. For four, you're almost there. Five. Six. Hold this last one, hold it there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring the legs up. Oh. Whew. All right, rock back and forth. Gain some momentum, we'll stretch it out. Come to tabletop position. And we'll stretch the abdominal wall. All right. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. On the inhale, drop the belly and just hang out here for a second. Let that feel good. Take one more inhale. Exhale, pull the belly underneath. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And then come back to neutral. Turn your fingers in opposite directions and just do a little sway side to side. So we're just getting a little stretch for those inner wrists. And then bring your fingers back forward. Stretch the hand over, get a little stretch for the outer wrist. If you need more, you can bend that elbow back and get right into that form. Switch sides. And then release. Come back into a quick child's pose. Just as a reminder, you can always come back here at any time during class. and then reach the hands forward. Come back up to tabletop position. Tuck the toes, firm the belly, push into the hands to stabilize the shoulder. Lift the knees up, shift the hips back, and come into your first down dog. Then you nod the head with a no. Bicycle through the heels. Take a couple breaths. And then keep the feet as they are, walk the hands back to the toes, bend the knees, go to the belly, grab opposite elbows. If 
you want to get into those hamstrings a little bit more, think about digging down into the heels and lifting the sit bones towards the ceiling. You're really going to target that muscle. As you continue to use the breath to support your practice. Release the hands, walk back to down dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Adjust the feet if necessary. Exhale, shift back down dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, down dog. One more time. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Knees up or down. Inhale, shift forward, open the chest. Slowly bend the elbows, chaturanga, drop to your belly. Drop the forehead, cobra. Inhale, scoop those shoulders up and back. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes, firm the thighs, knees up or down. Come back to chaturanga, back to plank, inhale, and back to downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, your choice. Exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, heels lift up, glance forward. Exhale, walk or hop to the top of the mat. Lengthen and hop. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, back at the toes. Lengthen and hop. Plant the hands. Step to plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, your choice. Exhale, down dog. Take a couple breaths. Inhale, set to that. Exhale, float to the top. Lengthen and hop. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale. Exhale to the toes. Lengthen and hop. If you have a jump to chaturanga, plant those hands, jump back. Bend those elbows on the way. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a couple breaths. Inhale, set it up. Exhale to the top, walk or hop. Lengthen and hop. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Last one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive to the toes. Lengthen and hop. Plant the hands. Find your vinyasa, whatever that looks like. And back to down dog. All right, we're going to play with a little pop-up from our down dog. If you're not comfortable with doing any type of hopping or pop-up, what you're going to do is find the prep, which is the heels lifting, bending the knees, and then you're just going to kick one heel to the glute at a time and then switch sides. If you are comfortable, what we're going to do is try and think about kicking our heels to our glutes as we shift forward. So on the inhale, I'm going to look forward, push into the shoulders. Exhale, I'm going to hop up, kick my heels to my glutes, land back into a bent knee down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, it could be a little hop, right? It could be a big hop. Trying to find a little bit of a handstand. I want you to take one more hop and see if you can land your feet to the top of the mat, coming into chair pose. So inhale sets it up. Exhale, take a hop. Bend those knees, chair pose. Inhale, lift up. Take the hands behind the back, interlace those fingers, lift the chest, pull the belly in, take an inhale. Exhale, dive and fold. Lengthen and hop. Plant the hands, take your vinyasa. You can always skip it. And back to down low. I like to pace my vinyasas as I feel more tired. I'll drop my knees. If I'm feeling too tired, I'll skip the vinyasa. If I'm feeling energetic, I'll add the hop back. So I think it's really good to be aware of your body as you're practicing. There's no judgment here. You're just listening to your body. All right, I'm going to sweep the right leg to the sky. Inhale. 
On my exhale, I'm gonna step that foot all the way between the hands, press into the feet, use the belly as I lift up to cross and pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, chest with high, arms like wings. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, chest with high, arms like wings. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, chest with high, arms like wings, and hope. Good. Start to shift forward. Come light onto those back toes. So we're just onto the big toes of the left foot. Take an inhale. On your exhale, lift that leg into warrior three. Keep that left hip square and then plant the hand standing split. This would be a great place to grab some type of prop underneath the hands if your hamstrings are kind of tight. And then I'm adding in another inversion option for you handstanders. So this is the same idea here, but now we're kicking up with our top leg staying straight. So as I kick up, I'm gonna lift my right heel, bend that knee, and think about kicking that heel into my glute while I keep my left leg strong and straight, right? Maybe it's just a little kick. Maybe it's just practicing the prep. Maybe it's getting into a little bit of a handstand. Take one more kick up. Draw set that crescent pose, inhale. Plant the hands, you can take the vinyasa or go straight to down dog, your choice. Take a couple breaths. Maybe a nice sigh out. And then lift the left leg. Inhale. Exhale, gaze forward. Step that foot. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hold. Inhale. Exhale, chest to thigh. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, chest to thigh. Inhale, crescent, chest to thigh and hold. Start to, get, start to shift forward, get light on those right big toes. Then dig into that left heel and sweep the right leg up. Warrior three, hands to the heart. Take an inhale, square that right hip down, and then plant the hands standing split. You can always adjust on your mat, whatever feels comfortable. Trying to keep that right hip square here. So we're squaring the hip down. You can hold as is. You can take a little hop. Or try and take a couple kick ups. Getting that left heel into the glute. If you fall out, there's cartwheel to the side. Maybe one more kick up. And then drop the back crescent pose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, vinyasa, or straight to down dog, your choice. Take a couple breaths. All right, so we're going to start to move a little faster. Feel free to take out the handstand variations here. So inhale, sets it up. On your exhale, walk, hop, or do that little handstand kick right into chair pose at the top of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, dive and fold. Lengthen, inhale. Plant the hands, take your vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Right away, right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step it through. Press it, inhale. Chest to thigh, exhale. Inhale, shift forward onto those left big toes. Exhale, right into warrior three. Inhale, hold. Exhale, standing split. Hold, or inhale sets it up. Exhale, take a kick up. Inhale, press and close. Step or hop back. Plant the hands. Vinyasa or down dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step it through. Press and inhale. Chest if I exhale, hold. Inhale, shift forward, big toe. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, hold. Exhale, standing split. Inhale, set it up. Exhale, hold or hop. Inhale, cross and pose. Exhale, vinyasa. Take a couple breaths. 
We got one more round here. We're almost there. We'll take a nice break. Inhale, setting it up. Exhale to the top. Walk or hop or handstand. Leading in chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, dive and fold. We're going to hang out here for a second. Heels to the feet apart. Coming into Malasana. All right, shake those wrists out. Give me a little stretch with the shoulders. The heels don't have to touch here. You can always take something to sit the hips on. Those of you who have a crow or bakasana practice, I'm not going to demonstrate the full variation here, but I'll show you how to get into it if you're working on it. So hands will come about a foot in front of the toes. Knees to the outsides of the arms or right behind the arms, behind the arms if you've been practicing a little bit longer. Okay. You're going to plant the hands and lift the heels. Now the idea is this teeter-totter effect, right? Because the more we shift forward with the chest, the lighter the feet become. So as I lift my heels up and shift forward, my feet are going to naturally get light as maybe my toes start to lift up, maybe both of them lift up. I can take a blanket or a pillow in front of my nose. If I'm afraid of crashing. <laughs> Those of you who have an advanced Vipassana practice, try it with the straight arms, right? So arms are straight, same setup. You just keep the arms straight as you shift forward. It's a little bit harder on the wrist though, so you wanna be careful. Take one more breath. Those of you who can jump it to Chaturanga, go for it. Otherwise, just straighten and fold. Plant the hands, move through the vinyasa or skip it, and head straight to down dog. One more time for each side, right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step it through. Crescent, inhale. Chest is by exhale. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, hold. Exhale, standing split. Inhale, hold or set it up. Exhale, maybe a little handstand kick. Drop set back, press and pose, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, vinyasa or down low. Left leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Cross and inhale. Chest to thigh, exhale. Inhale, shift forward, big toe. Exhale, warrior three. Hold, inhale. Exhale, standing split. Hold or set up, inhale. Up, inhale, crescent, plant the hands, vinyasa, and meet on your belly, right after your back foot. Good, bring your right arm out to the side. What you're gonna do is plant into your left hand and start to take a twist towards that right arm. So you should feel a stretch in the inner shoulder of your right arm. Noticing if we can start to slow the breath down. And then coming to center. And switching sides. Bring your left arm out to the side like an airplane. Plant your right hand and take a twist towards that arm. And then start to make your way back. Get a quick child's pose. And then back to down dog. <clears throat> Take a deep inhale. Exhale. 
exhale, sigh it out. And then right leg lifts, inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna shift forward. Connect that right knee to the right tricep. Inhale, bring it back and away. Exhale, cross the knee underneath. Inhale, back and away. Exhale, step that foot all the way in between the hands. Come up to cross and pose, inhale. Right hand to the heart, come halfway forward. We're gonna take that twist over to the right, so left elbow's gonna cross over. Palms together, opening up that right shoulder. Left leg is firm and active. A few more breaths. And then inhale, use the belly, come back up to crescent. Exhale, halfway forward, hands to the heart, go right into warrior three. Keep that left hip square. Now dig through that right heel, See if you can find that lower glute and pull yourself up so the left knee is into the chest. Hold on to that left knee for a second. We're gonna cross that left ankle over the right thigh as we start to sit into our standing figure four. It's okay to lose your balance. Inhale, come back up. Now think about where your right knee is pointed. We're gonna to start to open up that left side and stretch back to warrior two. Good, make sure that knee is pointed forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse the warrior straight in that front leg and exhale, come into Trikonasana. A block would be handy here underneath the right leg or right hand next to the right leg. And then I'm gonna bring my gaze down, put my weight into my right leg, and start to come up into half moon. Again, a block is a great tool here. You can also work on hovering the hand, whatever you're working in your practice. As you re-bend, reverse the warrior inhale, and then when the hands down, take your vinyasa, and the inbound bow. Left leg lifts inhale. On your exhale, connect your left knee to your left tricep. Inhale, bring it back in the way. Exhale, cross the knee underneath. Inhale, back and away. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Press and pose, inhale. Hands to the heart, come halfway forward. Take your twist to the left. Palms together, open up that left shoulder. Right leg is firm. Two more breaths. Inhale, arms lift up. Hands to the heart, right into warrior three. Find that balance in that standing leg. And then dig through your left heel, find the lower glute to pull yourself up to standing. Come onto that knee for a second. And then cross that right ankle over the left knee and start to sit into your standing figure four. You should feel a stretch in that outer glute and support through the standing leg. Come back to standing. Left knee stays forward. We're gonna open that right leg up and stretch it back to warrior two. And then inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, find extended. Inhale, reverse. Straight in the front leg. Reach the left hand forward and bring the hand to the shin or to a block. I just like to scoot my back foot in just a little bit for trikonasana. Make sure the shoulder and head feel relaxed. And 
and then gaze down. Soften your left knee. We're stepping up to half moon. We're gonna block under the hand can be helpful here. You can work on hovering the hand. Whatever you're working on. And you then reverse the warrior inhale. Windmill those hands down. Take your vinyasa. All right, you guys, we're going to go through that two more times, nice and fast. So we're building our heart rate up a little bit. Feel free to modify or skip as needed. And I may throw a couple inversions in. So right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, connect the right knee to the right tricep. Those of you who know how to come into an arm balance here, take that option for inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, cross it underneath. If you want that arm balance option, Start to bend those elbows, shift forward. Next, inhale, reach it back. Exhale, step your foot through. Press and inhale. Hand to the heart, exhale, take the twist. Inhale, press it. Hand to the heart, shift forward, warrior three. Inhale, knee into the chest. Exhale, cross that left leg over, sit down. Inhale, pull that knee into the chest. Exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend it. Inhale, reverse, straight in the leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, gaze down. Exhale, come into your half moon. Drop, step it back. Inhale, reverse. Optional handstand for your vinyasa. So if you're doing this handstand, you're going to take a little kick up. And then move it through your jaw. Back and down, down. Left leg lifts in home. Exhale, connect the left knee. Hold or take that arm balance. Bend those elbows, shift forward. Inhale, back and away. Exhale, cross the knee underneath. Hold or take that arm balance. And back and away. Inhale. Exhale, step it through. Press and inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale. Inhale, press it. Exhale, warrior three. Push down into that left heel. Come all the way to standing. Exhale, figure four. Inhale, come to standing. Exhale, swing it back, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend it. Inhale, reverse, straight in that front leg. Exhale, Trikonasana. Inhale, gaze down. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, hold. Exhale. Draw step it back, reverse the warrior inhale. Take your vinyasa if you want that handstand option. Windmill the hands down. Kick that right leg up, take a little hop. And then through your chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Take a deep breath. We got one more round. Here we go. Right leg lifts without the taps. Exhale, step the foot through. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, take the twist. Inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, kind of standing. Exhale, figure four. Inhale, pull the knee in. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse, straight in that front leg. Exhale, trigonosana. Inhale, gaze down. Exhale, half moon. Right away, drop step back. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, windmill it down. Maybe take that handstand option. Through your chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Press and inhale. Exhale, take the twist. Inhale. Halfway forward, warrior three. Inhale, pull that knee up. Exhale, cross that ankle over. 
Inhale, knees up. Exhale, swing it back. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extending. Inhale, reverse, straighten the front leg. Exhale, Trikonasana. Gaze down, inhale. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, reverse. Windmill it down. Take your final vinyasa. And knee in child's pose. Just slowing the breath down. up. Bring your legs through. We're going to find Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. I like to do this on my blanket. Something just to prop me up so that I feel like I'm lifting out of my pelvis. Hands to the ankles. Inhale, lift the chest, spine forward, and exhale, fold in. And as we transition into this portion of our practice, just allowing our breath to play a different part. Noticing the sensation that we're feeling. And just five more breaths. And then start to lift up and just extend both legs forward. Same thing, just pushing down into the pelvis to lift the spine up, starting to shift forward. The hands don't have to touch anywhere and then just come to the ground. And you just fold into the security of the body and stability of the breath. Trying to relax the neck and head as much as you can. And again, just five more breaths. start to lift up and then I'm gonna have you guys come into an uh, outer hip opener of choice so you have a couple options you can just do easy seated if the hips are really tight and you just shift forward you can do double pigeon if that's a part of your practice so it is a little bit more advanced um, you can do single pigeon which is less invasive but it can still be harsh on the knee you can also come onto your back and do figure four on your back which is what we did standing so this would be figure four on your back. If you're doing a single pigeon, that's what I'll be doing here. So what you wanna do is you want the knee to come to the outside of the mat, the hip to come into the hip flexor as you come into a fold forward. 
And then what I like to do is take my right hip and just take a little tug back. So I'm really getting right into that deep rotator muscle. And we're just here for a few breaths. Last three. And then however you want to switch sides, you're welcome to go through the downward facing dog. I like to just kind of swing my leg back and come right into my other side. Same setup, so try and do the same option as you did on the other side, and then just allow yourself the grace to come into it as slowly as we did the other side. If you're in that single pigeon, take that tug back of your left hip to really make sure you're getting into that outer rotator. Just focusing on the slow breath. As the breath is just slightly more subtle, but still supportive. And last two. guys option for one more inversion if you're cooked you want a supportive inversion if you have a wall near you you can take legs up the wall you could take a prop underneath your hips uh, for supported legs up the wall if you have a headstand practice and you can be really safe within your practice you can practice uh, traditional or tripod headstand I'm gonna come into forearm balance because that feels the most safe for my injuries you can come into dolphin or down dog or also inversion so we're gonna get about 30 more seconds of an inversion of choice. And again, just picking the one that works best for you. And whatever your inversion you're doing, whether it's a supported inversion or an active inversion, the breath is just as important. breaths. Last five, four, three, two, one. If you were upside down, come into a quick child's pose. If you're on your back, your legs at the wall or supported legs at the wall, go ahead and remove the pops. And we're just gonna come into a quick twist. Pull your right knee into the chest. Extend your left leg forward, take the twist to the left. Just a couple deep breaths. Switch sides. Taking that twist to the right. 
whatever that looks like. Maybe you have a preferred twist that you'd like to do instead. Center. We're going to take one final squeeze. So pull those knees in, grab the shins, lift the chest up, take a deep inhale. And exhale, let it go. Coming into your final pose or Shavasana. As we release any effort in the breath effort in the body and just allow ourselves this time of rest and stillness. start to deepen the breath. If you have time for a longer Shavasana, please feel free to tune me out and take that. Otherwise, just find some movement in the fingers and toes and just finding some life in the body. And starting to make your way onto your right side, just cradling the head and the arm for a moment. And a couple of deeper breaths all the way back into the spine. As you push yourself up to an easy seat, again, you can grab something to sit on as we close the practice together today. Hands can rest on the knees or come together at the heart as we come in gratitude our bodies, for our practice, and for this community that we're involved in right now. My soul sees and honors your soul. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore Leanna Joan. Uh, you can find out about my retreats coming up and I will be offering more classes, so stay tuned, stay healthy, stay well, and I'll see you next time.